Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech, my name is Amata, today it's still the 23rd of January and this time I have a little bit of a rather nice update regarding the HoloLens which of course was just revealed at their Windows 10 events the other day. Now as I discussed in that video, and just have a quick check on the channel guys, you should see it in our recent videos if you want more information on the HoloLens, it is indeed a dedicated device however. Microsoft is looking into how it could be used with both the PC and the Xbox One. Now, when he was speaking with Polygon, the Xbox boss, who is of course Phil Spencer, said that should the standalone product HoloLens become a success, specific scenarios on how it could be used with the Xbox One are already being brainstormed. And he went on to say, quote, We think it's important that HoloLens succeeds as a standalone device. I think the experiences you see today are all standalone. They're running in the device itself, which is an, really an accomplishment. There's no tether to something else, because what you're going to see is fairly high fidelity experiences that I think will be impressive that it's running right there. We wanted to land that first. Now, he also went on to say that supposedly the HoloLens will be following in the footsteps of other popular electronics devices which, which can be used for gaming, but that isn't actually supposed to be the primary use for the device. And he continued by saying, quote, I think gaming will be important. Specific scenarios with the Xbox were thinking hard about where people could ask about streaming solutions, use it to display for Xbox. We don't have answers for any of those things. And to be honest, having it be standalone successful first is probably the right way to go. As I think the main issue that some people who perhaps aren't involved with gaming might have is they might be interested in the device, but they wouldn't necessarily want to have to buy, say, an Xbox One to go with it, because obviously that's quite expensive. Of course, we don't know how much the HoloLens is going to be, but we're probably looking at about two to $300 at a pure Skywall guess. So it's definitely wise, but having added functionality that you can use with the Xbox One and PC, Yes, that I would definitely be able to get behind and the potential applications for it are potentially limitless. I think the HoloLens has at least the potential to be a success. The interest in the device seems to be pretty damn high and to be honest, I'm pretty excited to see what Microsoft do. This is probably one of their most interesting reveals in quite some time and I'm very much looking forward to seeing how it can be used and of course it's down to developers to develop interesting games or whatever for it. So I'm very much going to be paying close attention to the HoloLens. Of course, probably going to be a while before we ever see a retail release for the device, but still. Anyway, do let me know any thoughts and opinions on the device or what applications you think it could be used for, either with gaming or outside of gaming, and I'll see you next time.